Hi, I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. Look at me, I found a chair to sit in today. Now, I don't know if you know about this, but there's been this scandal going on in Japan. It's been going on for a while now. A company called Kobe Steel, based out of Kobe, Japan, Japan's third largest steel maker. They make steel, titanium, all sorts of, everything you get, aluminum, all that all that good stuff, right? So everything you can imagine like US Steel does or Alcoa does, they're, they're doing a whole lot of everything. They are a large company. There has been a scandal going on and it is somewhat of a scandal. There has been a falsified documents issue over at Kobe Steel where basically they've been making products and passing certifications off as if that uh, product is exactly structured the way that it says on the paper and unfortunately it hasn't been they've been skimping on product they've been skimping on checking and double checking the actual integrity of what they're making and this touches a lot of bases because I mean you've got automakers Toyota Nissan Honda Subaru I mean the list goes on of people using Kobe steel products in their uh, in their products we've got Toyota Nissan and Subaru all right now double checking to make sure none of the stuff that they've purchased from Kobe steel has any of these uh, deficiencies as we should call them. The steel industry has been doing all right because of this because when a scandal like this obviously breaks out it's good for the rest of the industry because all the, you're not going to go do business with Kobe Steel now are you? That's ridiculous. So Kobe Steel obviously on the outs everybody else picking up the slack and by slack I mean the extra business because the steel still has to be made and sold my friends. The big deal with Kobe Steel today is the US Department of Justice got involved and that is bad news. See we found out last week that some of the Kobe Steel products got into some Boeing aircraft. Well, that's an American company. Mm, now you're treading on old glory I would imagine and because of that the Department of Justice just so happened to get involved this week. They said, you know what, we're going to need all your documents. We're going to need every last document that you've got. And because we've heard this scandal that you've taken credit for, Kobe Steele has said, you know what, this scandal has happened. This took place. We've been, um, we've been falsifying data here for 10 years. Let that sink in. 10 years. They've been falsifying this data. Apparently the rumor on the street is it's been a lot longer than that. And with the Department of Justice involved now because you were uh, you were importing your uh, non-structural steel into the United States. They don't really dig that stuff. They hold grudges. They're not the right guys to get on the wrong side of. And the U.S. is going to be looking into this pretty diligently themselves. It doesn't really make a difference what anybody in Japan says about it. And I can only imagine that Kobe Steel is uh, on, the, on the precipice of finding themselves heavily burdened by the blowback of this. The, the stuff they've got now with just a lot of people, a lot of their customers and stuff, pulling out of deals... You know, choosing to go other routes, you're not going to obviously see the re-up of business and all that that they normally would see. That ain't nothing compared to the fines and the just absolute... They're, they're, they're going to be completely shuttered from the steel industry. I mean, this is not something that's going to go over well. Ten years, ten years, and then potentially some. You've been falsifying documents, Kobe Steel. You've been putting that stuff in cars. You've been putting that in aircraft. There's no coming back from this, is there, people? Is there coming back from this? We don't care that this company does revenue of, what, $20 billion. We don't care that this company's been around since the early 1900s. Nobody cares about that, right? This is completely off the charts as far as what we're saying is acceptable. We expect better than this. I mean, you need your steel to be structurally sound. It's one thing if your Pez dispenser doesn't work properly. It's another thing if, you know, like, load-bearing beams aren't really holding up. That, that I've come to expect to be done correctly. Kobe Steel, I imagine, and the Department of Justice, they aren't done. And I can only imagine the Department of Justice, they're going to win by a country mile. I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, thumbs up for this video and all of the videos. Why wouldn't you do that? And leave us a comment. I love hearing from you. I want to know if... Uh, this is affecting you at all. I mean, I would imagine there's some people out there with their portfolios allocated over in the Nikkei where, where Kobe is uh, is traded on. I would imagine this has some impact on you. If this is going on in your portfolio, let me know. We love hearing from you. We want to hear the comments. And we want you to have a fantastic day.